Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so clearly as the title states, I'm going to be talking about the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole, Nicole Guerrero collaboration. I'm gonna be giving you or sharing with you my thoughts on the palette. I've really been uh, putting off filming this video. I just didn't make the time for it. And I was so anxious because I really wanted to use this palette. I really wanted to see what I would think about it because I did obviously check out other videos and I heard other people's opinions on it but I always like checking it out for myself because you know different people like different things so just because one person says it's good or the other one says it's bad doesn't really mean that's how you're gonna feel before I get to reviewing it um, this is it right here I have it in my hand um, I will be sharing my unboxing with you so check it out Welcome back. <laughs> All right, so clearly, as you guys saw, there was no shattered, uh, shattered pieces or bits that were falling out of my palette. It was all in one piece. The packaging is gorgeous. Really hard material, not like a plastic. It's not too heavy. I tend to like these materials better because they don't feel as cheap. Not to put down any plastic palettes out there, but I just feel like this is much more pleasing to the touch. And then of course, Nicole Guerrero's name is written here across the bottom in some nice big font. So once you open this up, it's more like a closing, like a snap closing effect. It's not like other palettes where you have to dig your nail in there and just open it up. So as you can see here, we have a huge selection of colors. We have Kitty Cat, Forever Young, Daydream, uh, Forever Lit, Glow Getter, and 143. Just before I forget to mention, quick glance, there are some glitter particles in there. I don't know if you can see it by me just holding it up to the camera. Um, there is some glitter. It's not like other highlight palettes or other highlighters that I have where it just has like a nice sheen glow. So I will be swatching it on my hand. <laughs> So this one here is Kitty Cat. Just look at how gorgeous that looks. It's more of a um, like very light pink uh, highlight color. It has like a silver reflection to it. So it's not purely pink, but I feel like it would go perfect with blushes. Okay, so this is Forever Young and it's a gorgeous taupey color. So it has a nice reflex to it. And I feel like this would be perfect, again, to highlight possibly the cheek area, depending if you're just going for more of a bronzed look. You want to add an extra like beam of light to your face. The cheeks would be good because it's lighter than what a bronzer would be. So it still adds some dimension to the face. You can put it on your forehead, the tip of your nose, above the lip. And the thing is, even though these colors have glitter in them, they don't feel rough. They feel really smooth. There are other other products I've felt out there that when they have glitter and you uh, rub it with your finger or you try to apply it, it does have some texture, rough texture to it. But these ones are really smooth and really silky, which is what I like. And the next color, Daydream. So this is a nice peachy, corally color. <laughs> 
I would say uh, Kitty Cat and Daydream are more to add extra glow to the cheeks, not necessarily have like a noticeable streak of highlight on the face because it would blend in with your blush colors. But I feel like that would be the whole point, especially in the summertime if you're going more for like a glowy look. You want your whole face to glow. Those colors would be perfect to mix with blush because it would just enhance the glow in your cheeks and just make you look more sun-kissed. Okay, now this next color I definitely would not use to highlight my face, especially because I am more of a medium tone kind of girl. I would avoid this at all costs. I do not want this on my face because if you've seen pre previous videos of mine, you know that I don't like that noticeable white gray streak on my face. But it's still a nice color to have. So this here, this is Forever Lit and it's very, very pigmented as you can see. It's super, super blinding. Um, perfect for those that like that blinding highlight. I would definitely only use this to highlight my brow bone, the inner tear duct, and my eyelids. But I noticed that there is some sort of purple reflex under there. It looks more of like a purpley, pearly white, I would say, like a pearly white with some purple in there. It could just be me, I don't know, but that's what I see out of it. Now these next two colors I would definitely use to bronze up the face, especially for minimal makeup looks. I feel like these ones would be gorgeous. I'll start off with Glow Getter. This one is more of a goldy bronzed highlight and it looks like that. I wouldn't wear this with a blush, let's say, if I'm going more for a bronze look. You just want to bronze, you want to add this to like the areas that the sun would hit naturally just to make you more glowy and have that glowy goddess look. Following Glow Getter, we have 143 and this one's a darker uh, bronzed gold color. So this one's more of like a brown, the other one was more gold. It looks gorgeous on my hand and it actually gives my hand like a nice wet look to it. So some final thoughts just on swatching them and showing them to you guys. I really like how it feels. It's super soft despite the glitter. There isn't any rough textures in the colors and I feel like the pigmentation is really, really good. Like just by you guys judging for yourselves, like I'm sure you can see that it's really strong. So I would definitely try to use a light hand while applying it on the face, but at least you know that you can definitely get strong highlight payoff with this palette because other highlighters out there you really have to keep building and building this one if anything you have to minimize especially if you don't want something so strong and in your face of course i'm going to try these on right here in front of the camera for you guys i did my makeup but i did not highlight and i purposely used a matte blush because I was thinking of using this other blush that I have, but it does have um, some shimmer to it. So I didn't want to take away from these guys here. I really wanted to see the full effect. So I made sure to do my makeup really matte today, except for my lids because I wanted it to glisten and blend in with all this highlight I'm going to be adding. And I'm also going to add it to like my shoulders and my chest area just to see, you know, the full effect of it. Okay, so because I have a coral blush going on, I would probably use Daydream to highlight my cheek area. I'm going to be using this Morphe R33 highlight brush. Wow. That is gorgeous like look at that compared to my other very sad and matte cheek so sad so lively <laughs> let's add it on to the other side And again, I used um, Daydream, and it's more of that corally peach highlight, and it blends in really nicely with my blush. But yeah, I really, really love this. Now for my forehead, my nose, my lip, 
I'm going to use a different color. If I can get a little closer for you guys. Oh. But then it like chops off my forehead. Um, I'll just crouch down, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to use a Forever Lit and I'm gonna try to highlight my brow bone. Let's That's an intense highlight. Now this brush is too fat. I would probably use a thinner brush, but I can't seem to find my brow bone brush. Next, let's move on to highlighting the forehead. I am going to use this brush. This is a uh, Bedellium Tools 788 brush. Because my look isn't so much cool toned, I am going to go for the warmer shade, which is Glow Getter. I think I'm just going to use Forever Young because I feel like Forever Lit would just look weird. I'm going to just use Forever Young because it's light enough where it will brighten up the inner corners of the eyes but it won't take away from my eyeshadow. Okay, so that instantly highlighted. Next, I'm going to highlight the tip of my nose and I'm going to use this uh, Crowns, Crown Brushes uh, C209. I am going to use a Glow Getter again. I'll probably Glow Getter mixed with Forever Young. That's bright. I'm just going to add the rest onto the Okay, and that's the finished product. So what I like about these highlights is it gives more of like a wet effect. Like you can especially see it on my forehead. It doesn't look like I have intense powder on. It just looks like my face is wet with highlight. That's basically the kind of look we're aiming for, especially for the summertime. Because then it's like, you know, you just got out of the pool and the sun just beamed on you and you're just like a glowing goddess. But really, it's just makeup. <laughs> very versatile you can definitely mix these up and like I said it just goes so nicely on the skin it doesn't feel rough it feels so smooth especially to the touch and it has a nice wet effect which is something I feel we're all aiming to achieve this palette is definitely a hit for me I mean again it's just my opinion for other people it may work differently but for my skin tone and what I have envisioned right now in my mind, especially for the spring and summer season, I can definitely do so much with this palette and I can't wait to use it more often. And as you can see, I use so many colors, so many of the colors just for my face. Like, they're, they can be used for different things. It's not just one color for all angles of the face. You wanna make sure it blends with your makeup so you look natural, not like you have silver streaks everywhere. Um, which I think is perfect of this palette and definitely a smart palette. Alright, so that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will finish off by highlighting my chest area just as I promised. And that's it. I will be seeing you next time. Bye guys.